Hi guys, welcome to another gunsmith video. Today I will be showing you The M13 M13 is a unique AR. Has its damage separated in only two hit boxes. The head marked as red. And the body marked as green, across all ranges. As you guys can see it normally takes five bullets to finish enemies. Compared to other guns M13 with its fast fire rate can dominate most of the guns in close to mid ranges. Here's a quick chart showing you all the damage comparison between 0 to 80 meters. From 0 to 31 meters, M13 provides 36 damage in the head and 24 to the body. From 32 meters to 50 meters head damage is 27 and body damage is 18. After 50 meters the damage gets significantly lowered to 24 damage in the head and 16 damage to the body. At 5 meters TTK aka time to kill is 309 milliseconds. At 30 meters it's 421 milliseconds. Remember to take TTK as a grain of salt, since there's lots of other factor comes into play during actual game, so the performance will be significantly different. From 0 to 30 meters it normally takes 5 shots to finish enemies. 32 meters to 50 meters it takes 6 shots. After 50 meters it takes 7 shots to get a kill, so make sure to avoid extreme long range gunfights. All this test have been done without counting any head damage. If headshot damage was considered then the shots needed to finish enemies will get significantly lowered since M13 have a 3 shot potential from 0 to 30 meters. As you guys can see the M13 recoil is way easier to control. ADS time is significantly fast and with its extremely fast fire rate it melts its enemies in close to mid ranges. This gun can definitely earn its spot in the Season 1 meta of Call of Duty Mobile. Today I will be sharing two gunsmith builds of the M13. No stock. Providing minus 14% ADS time plus 3% movement speed, and plus 20% ADS movement speed. OWC Laser Tactical, providing minus 8% ADS time and plus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. 300 RTC double stack 40 round, with its 40 magazine, plus 20% damage range, minus 10% reload time, while also suppressing weapon sound. Granulated grip tape, with its minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. And lastly, the disable perk, slowing down enemies with any body shot. Build 2 attachments are, monolithic suppressor, providing plus 25% damage range, while also suppressing weapon sound. M13 skeleton stock, with its plus 15% ADS movement speed and minus 5% ADS time. The disable perk, providing slow effect to enemies with any body shot. OWC laser tactical, with its minus 8% ADS time and minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. And lastly, large extended mag B, with 60 magazine. Here's a side by side comparison between two gunsmith builds. Build 1 finishing first with 270 milliseconds while build 2 is a little bit slower with its 309 milliseconds. As you guys can see both of the build have similar recoil patterns but build 2 even with its bigger 60 magazine tends to stop at a horizontal position, after firing 40 bullets. Here are some other recoil patterns of both of the builds. Build 1 finished with 2 second and 446 milliseconds, while build 2 finished with 2 second and 909 milliseconds. Here's a side-by-side -side statistics comparison of the both builds. Overall, both of the build provide similar damage across all ranges. Even though build 2 have a little bit lower accuracy, slow ADS time and lower mobility. Perks like Skulker or Lightweight improves mobility by a lot and with its significantly bigger magazine capacity it feels more like a light machine gun and is best suited for respawn game modes where more gunfights tends to occur. While build 1 with its higher mobility and faster ADS time is best suited for search and destroy. Because in search and destroy faster ADS time, 
high accuracy, higher mobility provides more advantage and perks like Skulker, Dead Silence, is best suited for it.